Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality 9Xers around the world. Welcome back to another exciting episode right here on Duality 9X. If you guys are new to the space, please smash the like and subscribe, comment, and uh, we do our best to try to separate fact from fiction. So uh, this is going to be one of those videos where I'm definitely going to put you guys to the test because real or fake, that's a decision I'm hoping you guys can help make. Um, today I'm going to be talking about two largely influential countries of the world, Russia and China, and some of their antics as of late. Now, when it comes to Russia and China, you know, no one can really fully understand what it is that these countries do, because a lot of what they do is shrouded in a lot of mystery and secrecy. But there's a lot of countries around the world that are spending umpteens of billions of dollars to try to go launch rockets into space, to go to the moon, to try to find life on other planets, and all that is great and dandy. And Russia and China definitely have an active interest in that as well. However, Russia and China are also heavily invested in wanting to know what lies beneath. And I'm talking about what's deep in the ground. So they've been doing a lot of drilling as of late. Okay, so both of these countries are trying to drill as far down as possible. Now, there's a lot of reasons and theories and speculation surrounding why they're trying to do this. There's obviously, um, I mean, it's a good way to really ascertain, you know, how the earth was formed. And so in the name of science and exploration, I think it's a fantastic thing to do. Uh, but there's also untapped energy sources that they can, you know, that they can tap into like geothermal technology and energy that that's hidden beneath the layers of the surface. Now, one of these recent discoveries or one of these recent um, uh, activities uh, happened in Russia where it's called uh, the Kola Super Deep Borehole and they drilled pretty deep. In fact, they drilled about 12,226 meters deep. So what does that equate to? About 17 and a half miles into the ground. And what did they find? It's shocking. Absolutely shocking. And I can't wait to share with you what, what they may have uncovered. Now, it, it is it is pretty scary stuff. Um, it, it's it's I mean, I'm sure a lot of positive things came out of that, but uh, the this to, to just to put into perspective how deep they went down. Um, if you think about the deepest part of the ocean, which is the Mariana Trench, they went even deeper than that. Okay, and they just scratched the surface. So if you think, oh my gosh, they went down to the core, or they went down to like the the the, the center of the Earth, no just a scratch i mean that's how hard it is to to penetrate these different layers just to get to the core will anyone ever do it who knows but they're definitely trying so uh, i'm not gonna give away the entire story in this intro i'm gonna let you guys i'm gonna play some videos and i'm gonna show you guys what exactly happened there are some scientists and some people who have reason to believe that hell on earth exists so let, let's get into it and I'd love to hear your guys comments because I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Here we go. Very moment. Billions of dollars are spent to leave Earth. But there's one country that decided to also go the other way. China. It is on a mission to venture deep into the Earth itself. But what are its motivations? Is this a real-world exploration that promises to redefine our understanding of the planet? Or are they after the next precious finite resource? Is it even possible to dig deep into the Earth? And more importantly, what will China find down there? How deep will they be able to drill? And what are the chances for it to unleash a volcanic spectacle? Whatever might happen, Geologists are getting excited about gaining new insight to our understanding of our planet. This is New Nature, and in this video we try to find out why China wants to drill the world's deepest hole, why previous attempts have failed, and what this effort could unlock for science, for humanity, and for the world. In the Sichuan Basin in the southwest, some of China's best engineers are digging a hole that's over 30,000 feet deep 
approximately 9,000 meters. That's deeper than any ocean. Wow. And even taller than Mount Everest. They've also started another project in the Tarim Basin, up in northwest China. This one will be even deeper. They're planning to reach 36,000 feet deep. That's about 11,000 meters or 0.09% of the Earth's diameter. If they pull it off, these holes will be some of the deepest ever dug by humans. But why is China digging so deep? China is on a dual mission. On one hand, the goal is scientific exploration. Imagine the Earth's crust as a historical timeline. Each layer represents a chapter in the story of our planet's formation. By drilling into these layers, we're essentially going deeper into Earth's history, uncovering its secrets layer by layer. And then there are also commercial interests, as deep within these layers lie potentially lucrative energy reserves. There we go. By tapping into these buried treasures, China may secure a vital energy source that can fuel its growth and development. Chinese President Xi Jinping initiated this Deep Earth Exploration Initiative in 2021, emphasizing its importance to the country's leading scientists. The ultimate goal of this epic drilling endeavor is to reach material that formed more than 145 million years ago. The insights from these ancient layers can provide useful data for geoscience research. <clears throat> so, you see how deep these guys want to go? And it's just like, and when you look at the map, it's just like a little, it just, it doesn't look like much. It doesn't even look like they gained any traction. <clears throat> but the real thing, the real question is why? Why do they want to go that deep? Is it really for the energy and the resources? Yeah, I, I think I'm kind of more leaning towards that because if you look at China as one of the biggest economies in the world and one of the biggest um, exporters as well, you know, they, they need energy. They're going to need resources to be able to continue with that mass production of goods and services that they ship all over the world. So this could be that possibility. But is there something else? Is there something else that they're not telling us that maybe they're after, that they're trying to find out. And Russian side, the Kola Superdeep borehole proved more than worthwhile. As they burrowed down, scientists uncovered some real surprises. Nope, not that. They found water and hydrogen at depths they hadn't anticipated. Also, at about 19,685 feet, that's 6,000 meters below the surface, they stumbled upon microscopic plankton fossils. And Russian scientists also found water seeping into greater depths than thought to be possible. But that's not all. Instead of finding basalt under the continents granite as they expected, scientists found metamorphic rock below the igneous layer. This type of rock, changed by heat and pressure, was important proof for the idea of plate tectonics, which was a relatively new theory when they started drilling the borehole. This discovery highlights how important these drillings can be in our understanding of the Earth's crust. However, when we zoom out to consider the full scale of the Earth, it becomes clear that the Kola borehole, despite its impressive depth, has barely scratched the surface. But if we ever do reach further down and into the mantle, it's likely that long-held beliefs and ideas will be challenged and transformed. So, what exactly happens when we venture even deeper into Earth? Question. If the drillers eventually reach the mantle, don't worry, you won't see hot molten rock gushing up the hole like a volcanic eruption. The mantle rocks do flow, but their movement is as gradual as the growth of a fingernail. The Earth's mantle lies deep beneath our feet, yet nobody has directly observed it yet. Our Earth is like a layered cake, with the mantle being one of its largest layers. To put it into perspective, the crust, the thin shell we call home, makes up just 1% of Earth's volume. The core, composed mainly of heavy elements like iron and nickel, accounts for a mere 15%. But the mantle? It's the heavyweight claiming a whopping 68% of Earth's mass and an astounding 85% of its volume. It is made out of rock, though, and not liquid magma, as you might think. 
Under the high temperatures and pressures within the Earth's interior, rocks can actually flow. Although they seem static for us, over geological time, Looking back through the history of boreholes, it becomes clear that drilling deep isn't just about digging holes. It's about satisfying a deep hunger to know the unknown, to see what's never been seen, and to go where no one has gone before. In this relentless pursuit, we often stumble upon unexpected solutions to our most critical challenges. One such potential breakthrough is the discovery of a potent untapped wow. clean energy source. One that does not come from the skies, but from the depths of the planet. Supercritical geothermal energy. Buried up to 20 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface lies this giant natural battery. This energy source is as potent as fossil fuels and as clean as solar, wind, or hydro with a smaller land footprint offering benefits like preserving forests and protecting wildlife. If we could access supercritical geothermal energy on a global scale, it could lift billions from energy That's poverty, significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and create millions of jobs. All we need to do now is to overcome this engineering challenge of drilling to such great depth. Hmm. So that's interesting. So that that's th this video is more from a like a scientific uh, perspective, right? Uh, giving you some of the some of the highlights, some of the things, the positive points that people are trying to achieve by drilling in such great depths. Now, again, um, they just scratched the surface. When you look at that map, they just went down like a little ticker. They've got so much that they need to get through, and even just getting to that much. That 17 and a half miles, 12,000 meters, whatever it was, it took them 19, almost 20 years to achieve those results. Now, the technology has gotten a lot better since 1989. So we've got more, they've got better, more solid diamond bit drill bits and, you know, better equipment and technology uh, that might help expedite things a little bit. Uh, we'll see what happens. It goes seven and a half miles deep. Did we find hell? on Earth. This is the deepest man-made hole on Earth. It goes seven and a half miles deep and took 19 wow. years to dig. Many strange things were discovered during the dig, but when they lowered a microphone all the way down this hole, they caught this audio. leading many to think that the digging penetrated the gates of hell, allowing the screams of the dead to be heard. So, did we accidentally open the gates of hell? And more importantly, did we find hell? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know what you guys think about that. I'd like to hear your guys' comments. You know, was that really the souls of millions and millions of tormented people? screaming and suffering and pain what was it could it just be like noises of the earth and rocks moving around and plasma and gases and i mean yeah there's some horrifying sounds even when you go to space so there's been uh instances where they've caught like um uh, sounds from from space and close to planets very very eerie and similar to this one. So we're going to talk about all of them, starting with the deepest one here. If you go on Google Earth and you type in the Kohler borehole, you'll be surprised to know that hidden beneath this derelict building site is the world's deepest hole. Underneath the rubble is a rusted pizza-sized disc bolted to the earth. And it is here that Russian scientists quite literally left their mark. 
on the world. In 1970, during a period of scientific rivalry between the superpowers, there were countries that were seeking to make the craziest discoveries in technology, space and earth. During that time, Russia began the race to be the first to reach the centre of the earth. However, what they supposedly found made them abandon this project and weld up their discovery never to be opened again. Before we investigate the rumours and listen to the rather terrifying recording, let's first deal with the concrete facts. This hole took 24 years to dig and at 7.5 miles deep it invades one third of the Earth's crust. It's so deep that if the unthinkable should happen and you accidentally would fall down that hole, it would take take you three wow. minutes before you hit the bottom. But don't panic too much because the likelihood of this happening is nearly impossible as it's only 23 centimeters wide, about the size of the right. average shoe. So but he's talking about the same hole that we were talking about as well too, right? The the, the Cola Super D borehole. Um, there's been other reports of uh, which are which kind of contradict what the what this gentleman is saying. Uh, instead of seven and a half miles deep, I heard seventeen and a half miles deep. And instead of tw and he's saying that it took twenty four years to to dig that deep. And I'm hearing other reports that I found to to claim that it took actually nineteen years. So uh, the truth is somewhere in the middle. But anyhow, let's let's continue. Color. While all of this was happening, the scientists could hear the faintest sounds of screams. So what did they do? They decided to lower a state-of-the-art microphone down the hole. This microphone could withstand very hot temperatures, but get this, it melted after 17 seconds. It was actually long enough for them to capture something, and what they did capture made half the team quit right away on the spot. Before we listen to this recording, I do need to give you two warnings. The first one is this. Truth is very important to me on this YouTube channel, so we do actually need to discuss whether these recordings are legit or not. And number two, I want you to know that the first time I listened to this recording, it did actually scare me, and I'm not easily troubled. So for some of you, I'm not saying this for dramatic effect, but for some of you, it might be wise for you to skip this part of the video. So, what do you think? Do you think the recording is legit? Well, there's more. As the melted microphone ascended to the surface, so did a plume of smoke, and out of this black cloud emerged a large bat-like creature with the words, I have conquered, on the wings. In 1989, another detail from this story came out into the public, as apparently a member of the team snitched on the others claiming that they were not drilling for scientific purposes, but instead they were searching for hell. He claims that initially on another unrelated project, the Russians had accidentally discovered it in Serbia, and so they wanted to explore this even further. But whatever the truth is, there's one thing we can be certain of. Ever since then, this hole has been famously called the well, well to, to hell. hell. Between you and me, there is actually another side to this story. A Norwegian gentleman wanted to play a prank on Christians to prove that they are not only born again, but they're also born yesterday. So what he did is he emailed a recording from a 1972 vintage movie called Barren Blood, and he gave it to a Christian TV station called TBN, and he waited to see how many gullible Christians would eat it up. Sure enough, in 1989, TBN aired a show, Scientists Discovered Hell, and their story made not just waves in the Christian world, but also in the newspapers, and even Art Bell's rather curious show, 10 years later, made an episode about it in 1998. But guys, people are still massively divided on whether these recordings are legit, because they believe that the recordings at the Kohler borehole are completely different to the recordings in the film Barren Blood. I genuinely want to know, what do you think about this? Do you think that it's utter nonsense? Or do you think that the Russians really did stumble upon something? Well, there's one thing I do know, and it's this. History, right now as we speak, is repeating itself. Because China has started something that has really got the internet going crazy. In 2021, President Xi Jinping 
commanded a group of scientists to begin work on digging a six mile deep hole into the Earth's crust. All in the name of science. The hole will be so deep that you could fit 26 Empire State Buildings in it. And it's also no secret that whatever China is looking for, they will find fast. As unlike the Russian borehole, their drill will not take 24 years. The project, which started in June 2023, plans to be completed exactly 457 wow. days later. That's of course if their drill can withstand the 180 degrees heat, which kept being a problem for the Russians' equipment. The third mysterious hole on our list is the Kimberley Diamond Mine, located in South Africa. This mine... Alright, just, just going to pause it there for a second, guys, but... Um, so, uh, so, China clearly has started this in 2021, but I think drilling commenced in 2023. Which is 790... Approximately one year and three months or one year and a few months uh on average to to be able to achieve their results and they're just they're just trying to go down six miles okay so now if the the cola bora hole was seven and a half miles or 17 and a half miles um you know this is about six miles so pretty close right and it's pretty deep and uh, deep enough to fit 26 empire state buildings 26 empire state buildings guys just put that into perspective have you seen an empire state building i have it's pretty tall so imagine 26 stacked on top of each other that's how deep these guys are gonna go that's absolutely insane insane feet deep was dug by sheer manpower using just picks and shovels but it did take 50,000 men to do it and they dug from the years 1871 to 1914 and in that time guess how many diamonds they discovered over 13 million diamond carrots including potentially the world's most famous diamond the cullion which is encrusted in the crown of jewels in my country England. You may already know about the huge experiment that's happening in Antarctica right now, but in case you didn't, it's called the Ice Cube Neutrino. Put simply, scientists are using hot water drills with the purpose of observing the cosmos from deep within the ice sheets. Once beneath the ice, scientists are using a large detector called Ice Cube, which is searching for tiny neutrinos which are created by cosmic events like a supernova or even a black hole. And scientists believe that these little particles help us to understand the universe in ways we thought we never could. Our fifth hole gets the Graham Hancocks of the world talking, as people believe it provides evidence well, of a nice. lost civilization. The deep blue hole, located in Belize, Central America, is a large underwater sinkhole, and mainstream scientists believe it was a limestone cave system which collapsed once the sea levels began to rise and the caves flooded. Okay, let's ask the obvious question here. Why why is it that people believe that this beautiful diving destination could have another backstory? Well, word on the street is because the blue hole is so circular, because it's carved out so precisely, people claim there's no way that nature could do this. No, this is a man-made structure, and maybe it's even a portal to another dimension. And before circular. the seawater covered it, it was the entrance to a lost city. Whilst there's no evidence to back up all of this hearsay, no one can deny the reality of our next curious hole, the Berkeley Pit. This copper mine located in Montana was opened in 1955 and for the next 27 years it produced a whopping 1.3 billion tons of copper ore. You might be thinking this hole is comparatively boring Joe compared to the other ones that we've looked at but actually people will pay three dollars today to go and visit it. Why? Well since the mine closed groundwater quickly filled it in producing a very turquoise coloured lake which by the way, is unhealthily acidic, and wildlife conservationists here have to provide round-the-clock care to prevent birds from landing in the water, as it has been known that thousands of birds have lost their lives in this lake. We're down to the second to last hole, which is arguably the most satisfying to look at. Lake Berryessa is the sinkhole which has captivated the eyes of many tourists. The way it works is when the water levels begin to rise, the concrete sinkhole is able to stop water 
water from overflowing. It's actually capable of discharging up to 48,000 cubits of water per second. And many YouTubers have made videos by throwing different objects into the sinkhole to see whether they'd survive or not, including an iPhone. And yes, it did survive. Okay, number eight is by far the most mysterious hole on our list, because this hole is in the unseen realm. This hole cannot be seen by the land of the living, but it belongs to the dead. What is this hole's name? It is called the bottomless pit, or also known as the abyss. Before we go any further, I need you to know that this pit is not empty and one day it will be opened. And I wonder what goes through your mind as you hear that. As I tell you, there is a place that has no base, no floor. So in other words, if you ever enter into this bottomless pit, you'll be forever falling, forever and ever. No rest, no peace, just falling. But it's what's inside that will make your stomach turn. The inhabitants of the bottomless pit are the most evil, unthinkable beings that even the most darkened mind could never fathom. And these evil creatures have a king called Abaddon, who some believe is a separate spirit, whilst others, myself included, believe that Abaddon, his other name is Apollyon, is actually Satan himself. That's an interesting take, guys. Um, yeah, so there's a, a lot of scary holes, a lot of creepy holes out there, and now we've we've actually gone through two recordings you've heard two recordings of this i don't know what they were i don't know if are they screaming souls are are they people in torment in hell what was it or is it just the earth natural you know um sounds i i i it, i can't put anything to it i it's really hard for me to be able to describe what i heard um and the other thing is, is it legit? Is it even real? So, let's see if there's uh, some more videos here. The Soviet Union drilled a hole more than 12 kilometers deep in Siberia, which shares borders with Norway and Finland. The project to drill into the Earth's surface began in the 1970s, when Soviet scientists wanted to learn more about the Earth's crust. Over two decades, they managed to dig more than 7.5 miles down into the Earth. The drill broke through into a cavity, and the scientists lowered some equipment to see what was down there. An extremely heat-tolerant microphone, along with other sensory equipment, were lowered into the well. The temperature was about 1,100 wow. degrees centigrade, about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But the real shocker was the disturbing sound that was recorded. They only got about 17 seconds of audio before the microphone melted, but it was 17 horrifying seconds of the screams of the damned. The screams of the hell. How many years now like took them like 19 to 20 years just to be able to dig that deep china is gonna do it china is gonna get pretty close to that you know to that distance and they're gonna do it in about a year and a half or less
In about 457 days, China will hold the record for having the second largest hole on Earth. That's because they've just started drilling a 10,000 meter hole for science. Their goal is to provide data on the Earth's internal structure, while also testing deep underground drilling technology. It will go deep enough to reach rocks that are about 145 million years old. Although we've technically drilled a hole deeper in the past with the Russian Kohler Superdeep Borehole that was in 1989, and a lot of tech has changed since then. So who knows what new fossils, minerals, or even energy sources we might find down there. There. Drop us a follow and we'll keep you updated on any new findings. When the drill reached 14.4 kilometers, it had broken through solid rock and into a large cavern. That wasn't supposed to be there. From the surface, scientists could hear something coming from the hole. They lowered down an instrument array, including a microphone. There was air in the cavern, nine miles beneath the surface, but it was mostly toxic gas. And the air temperature was over a thousand degrees. None of this made sense. They turned on the microphone. What they heard caused most of the crew to quit on the spot. For the few that remained, so guys, it only got the worse. -Files. They called it the well to hell. This is the Y Files, and he has an interesting perspective and take on the subject matter. When the Allies won the Second World War, they quickly scrambled to claim their share of the Nazi resources. Gold, weapons, and oil were highly prized, but no resource was as valuable as the Nazi scientific community. The United States launched Operation Paperclip, which brought over 1,600 Nazi scientists, engineers, and technicians to the U.S. for government employment. The Soviets had Operation Osaviakim, where over 2,500 scientists were recruited by the Soviet Union. I am recruited. Uh, abducted. Thank you. This influx of talent kicked off a scientific rivalry that would last the next half century. Nuclear technology was, of course, a priority for weapons and for energy. The most high profile competition was the space race. The Soviets were the first to launch a satellite into orbit, the first to land an object on the moon, the first to put a human in orbit, and the first spacewalk. The United States had its own list of firsts, the big one being the first man on the moon. Faked. Not this again. No impact crater, the shadows don't line up, pictures use the same backdrop, you can't get through the Van Allen radiation belt, you want more? Uh, I, I can't do this today. If you think the moon landing was real, I have a few NFTs to sell you. Okay, whether the moon landing was real or fake, fake. these achievements pushed both countries to explore further and higher than ever before. It also pushed them to explore deeper, a new competition, the race to the center of the earth. The American program was called Project Mohole. The first borehole was drilled in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Mexico in 1961, but the program suffered from poor management and lack of funding. The Russian drilling program was more focused. They chose a location on the Kola Peninsula for their hole. The Kola Superdeep Borehole penetrated one third of the way through the Earth's crust, over 12 kilometers down. And these are the public projects. The Soviets also had secret a project. secret drilling project. The world finally learned about it when a whistleblower came forward in 1989. He claimed that buried deep beneath the earth was hell. Actual hell? Actual hell. He said the Russians accidentally discovered it deep beneath Siberia. And he said there was proof. That's what we're all about. We want proof. Discounted the Siberia sounds from hell story. It is true. And I, for one, wish it wasn't. In 1989, Dr. Dmitry Ozakov and a group of scientists were working on a borehole drilling project in Siberia. When the drill reached 14.4 kilometers or nine miles deep, the drill bit started rotating wildly. It had somehow broken through solid rock and into a hollow area under the Earth's crust. This cavity wasn't supposed to be there. When the drill returned to the surface, it was literally glowing red hot. This also was unexpected. The temperatures at these depths should be about 100 degrees, 150 degrees at most. Instruments were reading temperatures of over 1100 degrees. Dr. Azikoff said, it seems like an inferno is in the center of the earth. The next discovery, according to Dr. Azikoff, was the most shocking and caused some people to leave the project. At the surface, they heard strange sounds coming from the hole. At first, the engineers thought it was their equipment, so they shut down all the machinery, but the sound was still there. Part of the research done at the site 
was recording the sound of the movement of the Earth using specialized microphones. So they lowered one of these microphones into the hole. Even though it was designed to operate at high temperatures, it overheated in just a few seconds. But a few seconds was enough to prove the sound was definitely coming from the Earth's interior, and it was unsettling. Nine miles below the surface, in a superheated cavern, they heard humans screaming in pain. Dr. Azikoff is quoted as saying, We could hear thousands, perhaps millions, in the background of suffering souls that are screaming. Hopefully, that which is down there will stay there. Azikoff believed they drilled into hell itself. Half of the scientists immediately quit. Those who stayed at the job site were in for more of a shock. Later that night, a plume of gas burst out of the borehole and took the shape of a large bat or winged demon. And in the gas, three words were written, I have conquered. The whole job site erupted into pandemonium. Then the medical staff received a call from someone, we really don't know who. KGB. Probably. The medics were told to give everyone a type of sedative which would erase their short-term memories. The Soviets used drugs like this like for victims black. in shock. This account comes from one of those medics who blew the whistle on the operation. Hey, uh... Yeah? Look, I don't want to spoil the mood or nothing. This, this, this is a good story. Thanks. Some history, some science, demons, even men in black erasing memories. It has it all. I feel a butt coming. But is there any proof of any of this? Well, what kind of proof would make you happy? A picture of a demon would be nice. We don't have that. Oh, well, any chance, uh, and I know I'm asking a lot of you, any chance someone recorded all those fish. screaming souls? Yep, a 17 second recording has been found. Well, okay, on with the show. And I'm not going to read the full article about the Nine Mile Hole. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to read the email that I got last night, along with what I received. This horrendous sound. Now, I've got a clean copy of it now, and uh, I warn you, uh, this could scare you. The story of the Russian well to hell circulated for years. And even though it was reported by a few major news sources who claimed it was real, nobody had actually heard the audio. Without evidence, it's pretty easy to dismiss the story as nothing more than an urban legend. But in 1998, Art Bell, host of the Coast to Coast AM radio show, received coast an email. The email said that there is an effort to discredit the story, but it's definitely true. His uncle had a friend at the BBC who had a copy of the recording. He attached the audio to the email. After giving his listeners fair warning, he played the infamous audio that was allegedly recorded from the hole to hell. I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed. some Russian sedatives. I don't feel so good. Hmm. The Well to Hell is one of my all-time favorite urban legends. I first heard it on Art Bell's show, but how much of it is true and where did it come from? The story was first released by the Trinity Broadcasting Network, and TBN is a Christian network that operates television stations and publishes newsletters. In 1989, TBN ran the story Scientists Discover Hell, in both print and on television. The story was a hit. Rich Bueller, a radio host for Christianity Today, was getting so many calls about the story, he decided to track down the origin. When he contacted Trinity, they said the story was absolutely true. They doubled down. They did. TBN said their source was the Finnish publication Amenusastia, which was, they said, a widely respected scientific journal. Was it? No, it was a small evangelical Lutheran magazine. So Rich Bueller contacted them. They said a staff member wrote the story from memory. Oh boy, journalism. And that person remembered seeing it in a magazine where readers could submit any stories they wanted without sources or fact checking. Oh, the New York Times? Uh, no, this was another Finnish paper. Yeah. The reader who submitted it read it in a Finnish newsletter that covered paranormal stories. Before that, the story was in another religious newsletter out of California, and on and on and on. 
The story was just hearsay and exaggeration, but the companies who published the story kept defending it. You sure this wasn't the New York Times? I'm sure. Yeah. To make matters worse, a Norwegian teacher named Augen Rendauen heard the original TBN story when he was visiting California. He was so amazed that Americans were gullible enough to believe it, he conducted an experiment. He got back to Norway and found some boring newspaper article and sent it to TBN, but he included a fake translation. This is how the whole to hell story picked up the details about the demon. It was a prank made up by someone just to see if TGN would fall for it, and they did. TGN didn't fact check, didn't do their own translation. They just saw a great story and ran with it. The media sure publishes a lot of intentional hoaxes, don't they? If they Click get clicks, bait. they sure do. Modern anyway, the story bait. has been resurfacing every few years ever since. Sometimes the hole is in Alaska, sometimes it's in Norway, sometimes the demon is just a big bat. But that audio clip is always included, which adds a little extra eeriness to it. And no, those aren't the screams of millions of souls in hell. It's actually a layered and looped audio section from a horror movie. Shrek? No, uh, most people think it's from the 1972 B-horror movie, Barren Blood. No! Beware of Barren Blood. As much as I love the whole to hell story, I think we can call this one debunked. These days, there aren't too many deep drilling projects still operating. As of now, the Kola Superdeep borehole in Russia is still the deepest at 12 kilometers. Kola Superdeep has made some interesting discoveries like fossilized plankton and huge amounts of mineralized water buried deep beneath the surface. But no demons. No demons. Yeah. At least not yet. But if they keep drilling, who knows what they'll find. Wow, guys, that, that was a lot to uncover. There was so much there. I, I don't even know where to begin. Did this, you know, like there, there's, 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 there's two sides to a coin. All right. So you're going to have to pick one. Was it authentic? Is it not authentic? Was the story true? 1989, the, you know, the Russians drilled uh, to date the deepest hole known to man. 12,226 meters. I, my apologies, I said 17 and a half miles, uh, but I think it was seven and a half miles to nine miles, um, potentially, the distance that uh, the depths of where they were able to drill. It took about 19 to 20 years. Okay, so these are all the facts. These are, this is all the evidence. And apparently at some point, somebody decided to send a mic down. A mic could withstand great temperatures. And uh, apparently it like burst into flames within seconds. But it managed to uh, encapsulate a recording of about 17 and a half seconds. And that recording is what's causing all this controversy around the world. 17 and a half seconds of what some people claim to be tormented, screaming souls being punished in hell. Is there really hell on earth? I don't know if I believe there's hell on earth. Um, could it be the tormented souls of people in their graves or people buried, you know, deep into the ground? I mean, one can only imagine, one can only wonder. I don't know. I, I don't know if that, there was even, a, I don't even know if there was an actual recording or not. We can't really verify its authenticity. I mean, was it one big elaborate hoax? I don't know. There's more questions than there's answers. And when that happens, I got to start to, I, I kind of lean more towards thinking that this was probably debunked. And maybe it was fake. I don't know. But then again, on the flip side, uh, more drillings are happening, right? China's drilling, um, maybe not as deep, but they, they, they want to dig deep. They want to get, they want to go down into the ground. They want to see what's down there. And, and maybe it's really for scientific exploration purposes and, and efforts of finding uh, untapped, clear, clean energy. Um, but then part of me wonders, is there an ulterior motive as well to see what, what's down there, the unknown? What will they find? 
one can only wonder one can only imagine but guys that's all the time that we have today i want to hear your guys comments i did enough talking today um tell me what do you guys think you know like i give you guys a few different perspectives i want to hear what you guys have to say is this real or fake really you know um i'm going to try to find some more videos on this topic some more subject matter and hopefully we can air it one day but that's it guys and that's all we have uh, for today. Uh, so I look forward to our next adventure. In the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another exciting episode of Duality 9X. And that's a wrap, folks. You take care of yourself. Until the next one.